Baltimore is getting $5 million to help the crime fight here in our city. $5 million to buy new cameras, a system to detect gunshots, and even license plate readers for squad cars. ABC2 News investigative reporter Brian Kubler sat down with Mayor Catherine Pugh, and he joins us now with more. Brian. Kelly, the grant comes from Bloomberg Philanthropies. Key support, the mayor says, in upgrading technology needed for the crime fight. The money covers what the mayor calls some significant upgrades for the city police department. A chunk of it will be spent on 60 new CCTV cameras, the biggest upgrade since 2012. And as the mayor says, they'll be placed in the current holes that exist in the older network. Everything is about, you know, how do we determine where the areas are that are in the greatest need. And so that's how we'll determine that. We'll look at all of the areas where violence are at its highest. And we want to make sure that we have the kind of coverage that is necessary to help us in our whole violence reduction strategy. We asked about the 900 block of Bennett Place. There have been several murders in the area in just the last few years alone. And more recently, the street where Detective Sean Souter was shot and killed. Pew says the older cameras couldn't be placed in that block, but the technology has evolved and the newer, sharper wireless cameras can now fill in blind spots. One of the issues around um, Bennett Place was a lack of fiber. And so we realize that that is a important area for us. So that is one of the areas that we'll be focused on. If you ask any big city police department, they'll say they want cameras on every corner. Um, unfortunately, we're not at the point where we can do that. So strategically placing those cameras in places where we do have gaps will help us that much more. Inside the department, the more views, the better. The mayor's office says it will overlap violent crime data with a map of the existing 750 camera locations to see where the CCTV gaps are and plug them. The same will go for the 10 additional square miles of gunshot detection. That too will be paid for by the Bloomberg grant. Baltimore has tried this technology twice before. The remnants of it can still be seen on some light poles in Baltimore. But like the cameras, the technology has evolved to be more dependable. Gunshot detection, the mayor says, is a tool that can finally work for Baltimore. I don't make these decisions by myself. I have great experts. I depend on those who have knowledge about these particular tools uh, to help and assist us. And so I think I've gotten wise advice on what Shot Spider can do and will do for the citizens of Baltimore. In addition to the gunshot detection and new cameras, the Bloomberg grant will also cover 25 mobile license plate readers for squad cars. The mayor says the city will begin to see all this technology implemented beginning at the start of next year. She also made clear today that a separate $2 million grant from the state paid for computer laptops in all squad cars, a plan Pew says should be completed by January.